Welcome to Wellesley College Television's Riot TV. I'm Jocelyn Ramirez. And I'm Luigi Claude. Director of Research at Google, Peter Norvig, came to campus last week to discuss machine learning and advancements in artificial intelligence. Personally, I don't believe in this whole machine learning thing. I try to get my espresso machine to mediate my roommate conflict and nothing. An Australian man forgot that he had a balloon of weed in his nose for the past 18 years. Doctors finally discovered it when he went in complaining about sinus infections. Hey mom, I bet this makes the Barbie shoe seem like nothing. And now, over to sports. Welcome back, Blue fans. It's BC. And I'm BCC. Tonight's female chain is a real nail biter. You're absolutely right, CC. Tonight's game was kicked off by Wanda with an email about her Hydro Flask, which she lost somewhere between the Science Center and Lulu. Let's take a look. For receiving ends, the teams are the classes of 20, 21, 22, and 23. The message line includes standard urgency, while the message itself has the sentimental value of the Hydro Flask along with a half-assed apology. I don't know, Cece. It's not looking good for her. She's left a lot of gaps in her defense. Oh, and our first challenger of the night has stepped up to bat. It's... it's... a gif of Oprah shrugging. Ooh, big swing and a miss. It looks like Wanda has a real chance for a comeback. Oh look, the next fighter is stepping into the ring. Though I'm not sure anyone could have predicted this. It's Rachel from Bates, who just replied saying that she lost her Hydro Blast last week, and nobody cared. Ooh, that's a knockout. I'm liking where this is going, and I'm just getting worried that five other people respond to the exact same thing. What are the odds? I think these jockeys need to get off their high horses. Who will hit that reply all button next? Let's check in with the crowd. Seems like they're having a great time out there. Too bad this is our last game. What do you mean? You haven't heard? It's our last game. Of the season? No, of forever. The network is canceling school-wide emails. Says that there are too many cases of unnecessary roughness. What? Where am I supposed to get my drama from now? The Facebook groups? And how am I supposed to communicate with people? Talk to them? This is bullshit. Well, seems like that's all there is for tonight, folks. Stay tuned for our for WSBN's coverage of the annual Bread and Cheese Competitive Eating Contest, up next. Course registration has officially switched to Workday, with a new option to save all your courses and register in one click. So now, instead of anxiety crying while typing in my CRNs, I can just burst into a ball of flames all at once. Professor DeMuth from Brown University will be on campus next week to deliver a talk in the library lecture room on the ethical choices of whales. If you want to hear about the unethical choices of whales, you can visit me in the reading room to talk about that great white son of a bitch. And now, Avra on the street. Avra on the street, she's walking around asking people questions, yeah. Hey y'all, today I'll be talking to people about the unspoken rules of Wellesley College. Let's go. What are some unofficial rules of Wellesley College? Once people decide where their seat is in class, don't sit in someone else's seat. Really don't do it. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's uh, really chaotic and I don't like it. <laughs> if you don't compost your food, you're the devil. Everyone just disappears once it hits Friday night and no one shows themselves again until Monday morning. That's my rule. Use headphones when you're playing music instead of playing it outside of your, your phone speaker. We don't want to hear your music. People who blast music straight from their phone with no headphones. Insane. 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 Insanity. There's some really loud, like loud whistlers on this campus. Just, mm hmm If you want to have a conversation with someone in Lulu, you have to have it right in front of the pizza station mm -hmm. so you block that hallway. That is true. Can I tell a joke? Two Italians walk into an Olive Garden in Mexico. What does the waiter say to them? Hola, que pasta. I'm workshopping the joke. Okay, bye. The real unspoken rule of Wellesley seems to be, don't be the worst. Back to the studio. People all over turned their clocks forward one hour last week for the end of daylight savings. Many folks are complaining that it gets dark at 4 p.m., but... I, uh, guess it's a win for seasonal affective disorder? 
Thanks for watching Riot TV. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. I feel like you